Hi, this is Rich from ScooterDoc.ProBoards.com and I wanted to show you guys a test bench I made for my GY6 engine off of my Frankenstein scooter that's been retired. I used a plastic utility cart from Lowe's. Uh, it seems to be sturdy enough, but I uh, it's on casters, but I put some blocks underneath the legs to stiffen it up for this test. Uh, here's the CDI off of this bike, former bike, and what I did was uh, I attached the appropriate wires uh, to a bus bar and then ran the uh, appropriate feeds to each component. For instance, off of the coil over here, off of the positive side, it runs to the coil feed off of the CDI, the yellow and black wire. And then the ground off of the coil runs over to the engine case where I've got three wires grounded. One of the grounds is off of the CDI. I just put both wires together. Uh, this particular CDI had a, a ground in both ports on the four plug for the grounds. A lot of these CDIs you'll only see one ground. I'm not sure what the difference is. I just always put them together and run them to green. It seems to work regardless. Anyhow, that ground runs over to the case also and uh, that provides a ground for the AC feed and the trigger wire feed coming from the stator. Uh, here's your AC feed coming from the stator, the red wire, and that runs to the red black into the CDI. And then you've got your blue wire, uh, that's the trigger feed running into the uh, blue wire on the CDI and rather than use the kill wire on the CDI for this test I uh, put a switch on the uh, trigger wire. Uh, it works just as well you just cut off the uh, trigger impulse to the CDI it doesn't uh, send a message for the CDI to fire and the bike stops. It works just like the, well not just like, but it, it's just as effective as the kill wire. Uh, I've got my experimental air filter that I use. It's just a Tupperware container. Uh, a lot of guys have had some yucks out of it, but it does work fairly well. Uh, it's got holes drilled in the side and then you can put duct tape over the holes uh, to change the uh, air mixture, the amount of air getting through. Um, the tank, the gas tank I use is off of the Frankenstein scooter and I just put a small filter on with a Briggs and Stratton uh, valve and this runs right into the carb. So I'm going to turn the gas on here and let the uh, bowl fill up. This engine hasn't been started in a while. Uh, these two yellow wires uh, are off of the uh, stator. This is the stator that I floated the ground on and uh, these are uh, the AC feed for a trail tech uh, rectifier. So this stator no longer has a yellow and a white, light, uh, white wire. It's got two yellows and you just hook them up uh, to both AC feeds on the trail tech and then it gives you uh, DC on the red wire. So I'm just leaving the, we're not worried about generating electricity right now. All I need is uh, for the stator to generate a spark off of the one uh, magneto coil. So we're just leaving these uh, loose as long as they don't touch each other it shouldn't be a problem. And rather than, I know this is lazy, but rather than hook up the solenoid uh, I've got um, this red wire is actually a ground. I couldn't find a green wire. Uh, but this runs to the battery case and this black wire uh, runs to the starter. The black wire on your starter is actually a positive feed from the battery. This is actually a, a positive wire. Uh, all the solenoid does is connect the uh, red wire to your starter and then the electricity runs through the starter through the case and grounds back to the starter. So when you hit your so, uh, starter button the solenoid closes and uh, connects the uh, starter to the red cable on the battery and then it grounds through the mount on the starter. So um, we're going to uh, 
just hit the uh, ground wire, even though it's red, to the battery negative, and it should crank the starter. And if there's enough gas in the bowl, it should start. Let's see what happens. Well, how about we turn on the trigger wire feed? Might run better if it's got a trigger impulse. Let's see if it'll start now. Oh yeah. Well, I just wanted to see if I could get an engine started on a bench, so I'll have this bench around now for any sort of bench testing I want to do. And I'll do a, uh, a picture post along with this video uh, on the uh, 50 to 200 cc board, so you can watch for that. Thanks.